The founder of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, went to Capitol Hill in April to admit his company hadn't done enough to stop foreign groups trying to influence the 2016 U.S. presidential election. We didn't take a broad enough view of our responsibility, and that was a big mistake. And it was my mistake, and I'm sorry. Now as part of its continuing investigation into election interference, it discovered it's happening again. And so it has suspended 32 pages on that platform and Instagram, which it also owns. They are going to be on a hair trigger alert for, you know, for the foreseeable future. So any instances that crop up like this, they're, they're, they're likely to take, uh, to take action and then be public about that action. The company uses artificial intelligence and human investigators to flag up automated accounts. They normally deal with divisive social issues aimed at fanning conflict and upset. One page called Resistors created an event, a counter-protest to a Unite the Right rally, a white nationalist gathering in Washington, D.C. in August. It was found to be a fake group and the page was disabled and the event deleted. It says it can't definitively tie the suspended accounts to Russia, but suggests it was possibly involved. American intelligence agencies have been warning for months Russia's efforts to undermine American democracy are active and are a threat to November's elections. At a cyber security summit in New York, the Homeland Security Secretary said the country is facing what she called a hurricane of threats. Let me also again take this opportunity to issue a warning, as I have in other uh, forums and speeches, to any foreign power that would consider meddling in our networks or in the affairs of our democracy. The United States will no longer tolerate or accept your interference. You will be exposed and you will pay a high price. Facebook has been heavily criticised for not doing enough to stop outside interference in the 2016 election. It's determined that won't happen again and it says it continues to work with the FBI to identify threats and remove them from its platforms. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.